Welcome to Toy Gigante! Welcome to Toy Gigante! It's a really, really, really exciting day! Yay! I'm so excited! Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it's a reality. It's really here. I can't right believe before it's your been eyes, a year. Right before my eyes. And I think it's we're living up here. to the name Toy Gigante, which Gigante means giant. In Spanish. So, so yeah, we got some a giant playset right here. We got, uh, so if you haven't seen last year when HasLab had the campaign for the Katana, <laughs> um, uh, uh, we were saying why we thought it was a good idea and that we would be participating. And we did. We, so we did. We did. We followed through. We kept our word and we participated. And today... We got rewarded. It's so <laughs> All right, let's go in for a close-up. Let's check out the box first. And yay, details. Java Sail Barge, the Katana. Vehicle. Vehicle. Okay. So, here we got Luke, R2. And I forgot these guys' names. <laughs> Isn't it like Weequay and something else? <laughs> yeah. Gamorian Guard. The Gamorian. <laughs> Gamorian. And, and that other guy. Yeah. And it says... Okay. Includes the Yak Face action figure with power of the Force coin. And it says um, designed by HasLab. And it has the vintage Kenner logo. Old school Kenner logo. With a... Uh, a sarlacc coming out so on the other side of the box it's the open katana i really like this box it looks like a vintage uh, 1983 it reminds me of your ewok um play set it does look a lot like the ewok play set box my ewok village box and here is the closed version the canner again and of course this is the best part because this is the illustration. Illustration. Just takes me back to the days. I love how they mimicked the, uh, the stippling that the old print would have on the boxes. I love it. Yeah. They did a great job. And last... Your this favorite is, side. This is the top of the box. This is your favorite side. <laughs> so there's um, some of the bad guys... Well, they're all bad guys. Some of Jabba's henchmen. They're hanging out. They're driving. Yeah. Jabba and some friends. And friends. And friends. And then a yak face. There's Luke hanging out. <laughs> Luke's hanging he out. Doing? He's trying to escape the... He's escaping the prison. He is. He's trying to escape. Oh, he fell in the trap door. Oh, he, Again, that's right. he always falls he's always trap falling from trapdoors. Yeah. Another bad guy. <laughs> bad guy. Bad guy. But look, it's my piggy guard. Yes. Bad guy, Luke. Jawa's cooking up, making sure everything's good. Yeah. I wonder what they're cooking. Frog. And the weapons room. The armory. Oh, the armory. So there you have it, guys. Okay, guys, so this is the sail barge fully assembled. How long did it take you to assemble it? Um, I was by myself, and it took about 30 minutes. Took 30 minutes? The, um, the, the sails were the... Uh, were they a pain in the rear? Were the trickiest part. Yeah. Because you have to look at the uh, instructions... And you gotta line it up like correctly, exactly. or else it's gonna like confuse you. <clears throat> Carlos got the fun of opening it while I was at work. Yeah, so, I was waiting. I was waiting for the delivery guy like all day. <laughs> this is this is essentially really the first I'm getting to look at it. So if I seem really excited, that's why because I've been at work all day. So <laughs> all right. So you're gonna. What are you gonna do next? I'm gonna, um, well, first of all, you gonna take some stuff off and show We're gonna people? take off the, um, the sails, and I didn't, I didn't, um, put them in there like super hard. Yeah, because I knew that I, w I was gonna take them off. Yeah. Does this open and close? Oh, <gasps> it does! 
Yeah, I believe that's like. <gasps> sorry. Let me put these away off camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And these open and close too? Mary, calm down. Sorry, I'm super excited. Calm the F down. I'm calming the F down. Alright, so. Sales are off. And what I'm going to do is take all the panels off the side. Okay. Okay, so now I've removed the, uh, all the panels and the sails. Okay. And now it's, um, it's easier to play with. <laughs> you well, can put all your figures and you can see them nicely. Everything's nice and clear. You can see the interior. Well, let's go in for another set of close-ups so that everybody can get a good idea of what the inside looks like, yeah? All right, let's do that. All right. Okay, so on the deck, these doors open. And there are little stairwells that go down. Oh, that is so cool. And then right here, we have I... another secret. So light. here's a better look at the secret thing that I was dorking out about earlier. That opens and closes. Mm -hmm. Squee, squee. Okay. You might, of remember, course... you might remember this from a earlier, I believe, 90s release. They came. This gun came with Princess Leia at one time. Yeah, because she blasts the deck with it. And that was the only piece that you'd have for your sail barge, so it's, it's nice to see this again. Here we go. Let's get a look at the side. You can put a figure. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Pretty cool. Okay. What there, else do we got? This little play feature right here is a trapdoor. Is trap that a trapdoor? Door, okay, what the you... button's on the side. Oh, there's a side button. Okay. So nice. It opens and closes. Nice. Okay. And then there's little blasters on the side. Yeah, these are just so you guys know, if you own one of these, um, the little base part is really fragile, so be careful. All right. Well, I'm gonna go take a look at the back end. I'm gonna show you guys the back end of the katana, and then we'll move up to the cockpit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have to do anything here. I didn't have to put installed decals or anything like that. It was already pre-assembled. Okay. Which was Pretty nice. Good. <laughs> now we're gonna come around. Just putting decals can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, I give you guys a top down. The texture on the seats is really nice. I like the steering wheel shape. Yeah, it's very cool. This is another one of those little details that I love where you never saw it. Nope. But they really tried to be like, well, how else would they steer it? And also the, the cover, Let's if you see. want to show this, look at all that detail on the... Um, oh, they did a really nice job with that. On the other side. Yeah. Let's go a little closer on that. They really, um, HasLab, Hasbro... Really went all out, all out on this one. You can tell the person who modeled this had a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. Yeah. They knew that we would appreciate the little details. Okay, so what's next? I'll take this piece off. Okay, so take the... And now, and then this is where the button for the trap door was, right? Yeah. Cool. So and what is can, this? You can put the trap door back. So... Is this a... It's a little... It's the little prison... <laughs> I know that's kind of kind of whack, but I'm gonna we're gonna, I'm gonna do this with we're the gonna flashlight, do ghetto. okay? And it looks creepy too, in a way. It does. It looks like it's been like abandoned. Okay, that Ithorian dead guy is pretty great. Can you back up? Can you go up a little? Cause I'm getting. There we go. Yeah, now we get a better okay. view. Now and this then... door right here, you don't want to let no one out, so you can close it. Oh, that's cool. Here we'll go back out and focus. There we go. Okay. So now we can focus. So now what I'm going to do is take, remove the other panel. Hold on. Let me, there we go. I forgot we can do that. So there we go. Another thing that's cool about that prison is that there were little handcuffs. You can handcuff somebody up. Let me, okay. So next to the prison, we've got the kitchen, <laughs> which is really great because when this I... This is awesome. Yeah, when we saw that's... it in renders, they didn't show what they were going to paint it like, and so it's really fun. I like the the froggy dinner. 
shocking. It makes it it makes it spooky like this. It does. <laughs> it feels like we're like on a shipwreck investigating with James Cameron or something. <laughs> so there's a little so, table right there. Yeah, there's a little there's a little bar in the back. You can see over here, kind of. And then um, you got the the axe, the oh, Gamorrean the guard axes, and then this other axe. And then these are, you know, obviously these are the stairs, both sets of stairs that go up to the deck for those doors that we saw earlier. And then as you come around the bar area and the kitchen area, you come into Jabba. The man himself. And this is, this is the one that came with the uh, sail barge. Yeah, this came with the barge. And he actually does come off. He's removable. Mm -hmm. Come on out, Jabba. Say hello, Jabba no bother. <laughs> uh, you know. Let me see. He's even got little. See. Ha ha ha. Oh ha. Oh, Mila oh, oh. Kunis. Mila <laughs> And then Jabba's a uh, party throne. Party throne. With Jabba's party hookah. Look at that. Actually, detail. it looks like it's a microphone. I think it was like in the movies talking. Oh yeah. Where he says, mm -hmm. "Go to the Sarlacc pit." Yeah. Now, a fun detail that Carlos pointed out between shots is you've got a trophy head of a Gamorrean guard up there. And you got a portrait of. And you got a. A portrait yeah, of. You've got a like stone etching portrait of Jabba and. With ladies and. Yeah. Which is. They look like. Do you think sweet. it's Jabba or do you think it's his mom? No, I think it's him. He's hanging you think out so? the, um the what Taliks. The Taliks, yeah. Yeah. Now, another one, not all of them do it, but you can open the back win like windows along the katana so you can have people hang out and check out like the uh, the throwing of everybody into the Sarlacc pit. And there's another bust. Come on around this side, honey, please. This side? Yeah, because I can't, it's all shadow. Hold on, let me move it. So we got another bust in the upper corner over here. And then, I mean, the detail even the detailing here on the pillars is even nice. I mean, it's all nice. It's, it's all really job. nice. And then you've got these clear little hangout bar ports or something. I can't wait and to bust out all my figures. Bust of a rancor, yeah. We got the bust of the rancor. Let's take a look at the other side. So look at the uh, the nice paint job that they did. Yeah, the paint job is really nice and <clears throat> the tooling is really nice. The sails move slightly. Here, hold on, let me see. The sails move slightly? Yeah, oh, they just do. a little bit. God, the sails, they look so fragile but so nice. And here's those opened windows we opened earlier on the inside. So this is the bottom. They took the time to do some, you know, modeling to the bottom. Which is pretty rad. I mean, they really took the time. They, they took just... the time. They could have just left it plain and boring, but they didn't. That's pretty great. I mean, yeah, it's simple, but it's the bottom. I like these clear, these clear little standees with the rubber thingies, mm -hmm. so that when you set it down, it it looks like it's floating. All right, well, that's the sail barge. What do you think? I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it too. Uh, I think my two favorite details are um, that that prison cell with mm -hmm. the Athorian skeleton, mm -hmm. and then the uh, and and Java's kitchen. Like I love that kitchen. I mean, yeah, I know I'm a girl, but that kitchen's pretty rad. Doesn't matter. I love it too. I Doesn't love matter. All the details. I love the whole thing. It's great. It's great. <laughs> uh, this 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 is a dream product. I'm glad that it happened. I'm glad everybody. I'm glad it got backed, and I don't regret. I don't regret you know, contributing. I don't to either. The cause. Um, if Haslab, I don't know if it's going to happen, but for our international friends, it would have been great if they had like a, it would have been a nice. second run for our for our friends around the world. Because yeah. I know that you guys are fans as well, and you would like something like this. Yeah. You know, not just not just the U.S. You know, the whole world. I'm really curious and excited to see if they do another HasLab and what the next project is, you know? Maybe, I don't think they're going to do a, a Star Wars thing next. No. But it'd be cool to see like a 
big sand crawler or something like that. Would I mean, and then you know, like we said in the last video, it's like a, a giant flag. A giant flag. A giant for, flag would for be the, nice. Not everyone got a flag in '85, so a flag maybe to define it. Who knows? But something they would never ever make <clears throat> that I would be super stoked about would be you know the synergy unit for my jump. Maybe collection. they'll do two projects. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. The future's wide open. It is. But this is a great start, and this proves that we wanted it, and it happened. Yeah. So, here it is. Yeah. All we right. We put our money where our mouth was, and we got what we wanted. So... You work hard for things, it happens. Yeah. Um... So, so yeah. So, anyway, yeah. So, this is the Katana. And thank That's you it. for tuning in for another wonderful episode <laughs> of Toy Gigante. And, uh... Until next time. Until next time. forgot yak face it, it was included and uh, it's the old Star Wars power of the force logo he even has a coin and he even has a a drink and he's ready to party ready to party <laughs> and get blown up and stuff <laughs> so yeah there it is guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe I just want to sh share, we just want to share what we thought of this amazing toy and uh, hope you liked the video. Until next time. Mm -hmm.